Yes, okay, guys, let's talk about presets, okay? How to work with presets in FL Studio Mobile. Now, let's keep it simple. We're gonna get right to it. Right now, right this minute, I'm going to link a video that is how to sync your files from the desktop to the mobile, from mob mobile to desktop, or even from mobile to mobile, okay? That link is clicked is, is clickable right now, okay? Now, let's talk about this. I had a question recently, uh, just actually today, uh, somebody wanted to know essentially how to get presets from, for example, their phone to into FL Studio Mobile or for, perhaps from a desktop, from an email, whatever it may be, into FL Studio Mobile for the desktop. The point I'm making is if I, when you guys decide to join the community, because I do plan to have some uh, some contests coming up soon, as well as just some community organized album creations and things like that. So do join the community. A couple of you have, I could say probably more like a few of you have joined the Discord community. We're a new channel here as of today. So feel free to join and do look forward to some cool collaborative ideas that I have in mind. Okay, so let's dive in because this is actually pretty simple, but I guess for some it could be complicated because we're talking about working on desktop, whether it be Mac based, iOS based, perhaps Android based, perhaps even Windows based, um, PC based, you know, Microsoft based, Apple. It's there are so many ways to look at it. But one of the super key things to know is that whether you're using FLMPST files, FST files, FLMS files, or any other preset file types, they're pretty easy to be saved, sent, and loaded. All right. The beautiful thing is that FL Studio Mobile automatically detects those presets and, and it actually will only load them in the correct modules. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what I mean. So here you'll notice I have uh, one, two, three, four, five different synths. If I click here, you see, well, there's mini synth one, two, three, four, five, and then six. I have a bunch of them here. Maybe I missed one, but that's fine. All of them will be the same in the sense that when you load one, let's just load up a brand new one, completely brand new. Let's go to this one right here, okay? Direct Wave Sampler. What you're gonna see right away is my files, okay? Now, from your mobile, let's look at mobile. For example, whether you're using Windows or iOS, or perhaps you're using Android. What you're going to do in some cases, maybe long pressing, whatever it may be on your mobile device, you want to open with or share in or share with another app or open it in another app. So you're going to choose your file and you're going to open it with FL Studio Mobile. And that's it. It's just going to import the file and you're not going to see anything happen. But once you load the actual module, so in this case, let's go to Direct Wave Sampler, My Files, and you'll see My Presets. Right there, there's a preset I made. I just made this earlier from mobile, sent it to the computer, you know, sent it to, uh, from from one mobile mobile device to the next, and then synced it to my desktop just to show that it can be done. And look, I'm going to play some notes. Okay, that's it. I'm going to make one super quickly. So right now, I'm going to show you guys how to make a preset and then how to actually export that or share it or send it. So I'm going to click new. Let's just create one for Super Saw, all right? And let's just, we could start with the base any one of these settings, or we can just start with the, by clicking off or tapping off, we'll have the default setting. Okay, that's default. Now let's just say we went through a couple of changes here. Maybe we did a little bit of changes here. Guys, this is slightly random, but it's just for the purposes to show you that it can be done. Let's add some slide. Let's go to the filter and let's do a little bit here. Raise the attack, uh, the amount, resonance. Let's check it now. Okay, let's add some effects. Now let's add a little bit of delay. Watch this. Let's add a little bit more. You guys hear that? Let's add a little bit more and filter that a bit. Okay. Okay, so you guys hear that, right? That's a brand new sound. Let's play it again. Okay, that's a brand new sound. That sound didn't exist before. So what we're going to do is, of course, the hamburger menu right here, we're going to click Save Preset. Now we get to choose a name and we get to choose save or send. I'm not going to name this or save it, but what we can do is when we save it, it's gonna save in our presets once we name it, okay? 
And when we send it, we can choose to send it via email. Maybe we could choose to send it through whatever apps, maybe through Drive or some type of any other service. I don't want to limit or name any, to be honest. You can save or send your presets just like that. And then, of course, if you want to sync these presets from your mobile device to another mobile device, well, of course, watch the video I linked earlier on how to sync your FL Studio mobile sessions and data and everything, including the presets that you created or even some of the sound packs that you may have downloaded, okay? So that's it. That's pretty simple. Now, let's quickly show how to load a preset. All right, so let's go to SuperSaw. I actually think this is one I just created. Ooh, 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 ooh. That sound is wild. <laughs> we could save it. I don't think that one's been saved. So let's just click save. I'm going to save preset and I'm going to call this, uh, let's just call this crunch. I'm going to just call, call it crunch and click save. And that's it. It's saved. So now if I were to load this preset, so let's just click this and let's go to, let's add another instance of super saw. Okay. We're looking for my files and we're looking for preset my presets and then we're looking for crunch it's right there now let's try to find crunch in another module another plugin let's go to mini synth okay let's go to my files and let's go to my presets and do you see crunch here i don't see crunch i see another one that i created okay let's let's try to load one more let's do this super quickly let's see if we can go to uh, GMS, okay, Groove Machine Synth. Let's go to, again, My Files. Let's go to My Presets. I don't see it here. I don't see Crunch here. And my point is that even though it's the same FLMPST, note this, FLMPST, that's the preset for uh, Groove Machine Synth. And if I go back to SuperSaw and I go to, let's click, let's click here. And let's click My Files. Let's click My Presets. You're going to see Crunch. It's the same FLMPST, but... It automatically, it's being FL Studio Mobile, auto, pardon me, automatically recognizes the module that corresponds with these plugins. So guys, I know this was useful because it was really useful for me. And anybody out there who's got questions about this, please feel free to ask because the answers are oftentimes just a few clicks away, especially when you're tuned into the channel right here. Again, Justin Blends, guys, winning with Blends. Enjoy yourselves. Until next time, guys. All right. Take it easy.